Welcome back to Father and Sons Unlimited. Today, I want to share about God's will and our will. What is His will? What is my will? And what is His call on my life? Those are several questions that many of us in the church ask ourselves. Several hold much of the very same questions and, and meditations in regards to life and our purpose for living. So we ask and we pray, God, lead me and show me my purpose and meaning in life out of a sincere place in our hearts. Sooner and sooner or later, the plans that God has for our lives come to light and man, do we run with it wholeheartedly. But if we're not careful, things can take the wrong direction. What do I mean by that? There's a trend that's happening in the church and this thing has been rearing its head like and almost seemingly running rampant, especially among the younger people in the church. It starts with people wanting to sincerely serve God and others. You know, we begin to dream and wonder with God. Eventually we'll get encouraging revelatory words from fellow followers of Jesus that enable us to reach for the stars. This is where things become critical and crucial for us because this, because this is the part where we begin a process. When we get that word, that revelatory word that uh, gives us vision for our lives and purpose and you know, the, the wow and the fireworks and the boom and the smoke, all that stuff, you know, like there's a process that immediately should be expected and anticipated right after that because it's gonna take a process that the Lord wants to take us through for us to get there and fulfill those things. And so this process, what it really takes is waiting on the Lord. If Jesus waited, so must we. Take it from him. He waited, he waited until he was 30 to begin his ministry. Okay, let's learn. But sometimes the time it takes is longer than many of us expected. And if we can't wait, then a few things happen. Number one, we'll get angry and we'll decide to move on with our lives. We get into this whole tunnel vision thing where all we see is the thing right in front of us and it's that dream, that purpose, that calling. When Lord, when Lord, when, 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 when. And before you know it, you focus so much on the when that you're not focused on the journey around you. You're not focused on the process. You're not focused on like being present and enjoying just the moment, enjoying the moment that you're in and being present in the journey. Here's the second thing that could happen. We'll push ahead of his timing. Believe it or not, we can end up getting what we want and see it as his will. <laughs> It's a really tough path to walk, and especially when you think you're doing something that is totally of God. But even so, God in His love, grace, and patience still supports us, even if it's from a self-centered agenda. God will wait, but the detour that we're taking, so to speak, will be an arduous one. Ultimately, we step outside of His perfect timing and will. And it's usually because we can't pay the cost of patience in waiting on Him through our process. The truth is, when it comes to waiting in His will, He is more concerned about our character than He is with our anointing or acts of service. So we must wait through those times and phases of refinement. We have to be patient and not give up. Everything God has spoken to our hearts is true, but what we must do is wait and let Him orchestrate and handle all the details. Listen, you were born for success. I don't care who you are, you were not born to fail. We are all sons and daughters of promise. There is promises on our lives and within us because of who God is. He's put in us the potential for the fulfillment of the promises that he's put on our shoulders and in our lives. God has to forge us. He has to forge us like a sword. We wait, we wait, we wait. Before we know it, we've hit our time limit and we decide what to do. And what happens is some of us go off on missions and it is not what God intended because it looks like what God has said he was gonna do in our lives. And because it looks like this is God we believe this is God when really no that is you that is your agenda you have you in mind and you have the things of man in mind our own selfish ambitions are what's in our mind 
God, I want to do this. I believe this is you, God. After like, oh God, I've, some people fall into the sea. Oh yeah, I've had so much confirmation. Like there's so many people randomly in my life, you know, that have come up to me and have mentioned things that I'm striving for. And this is, this has gotta be God. This has gotta be. There is no, this has gotta be. With God, you either know or you don't. God is very clear. If you are listening, God is very clear. He'll tell you yes, or he'll tell you no, or he'll tell you wait. God does not play a guessing game. God does not fool around when it comes to purpose and calling and destiny. And what I've seen in the church is many people striving for their purpose, trying to push open the doors and saying, yeah, God has called me to Africa for 30 years, or yeah, God has called me to quit school and just serve in ministry full time. Like, what? Like, you know, it just like, uh, it triggers me. This is serious stuff. This is serious business. We have to be careful. We are affecting and influencing people's lives and ultimately influencing their destinies. So this is not a game. I wanna share this message because I want to spread introspection, know thyself type of stuff because we really need to understand whether we are abiding in God's agenda or abiding in our own agenda. Ask yourself, am I doing this for me or is God telling me this is what is needed to be done now? The trend needs to end. What can happen is like the parable of the lost son, we, we can step into an inheritance that we're not equipped for yet and it can crush us. It can crush us like a little twig. What more cunning way can the enemy bring us down than making something look like God and then crushing you within that so that you will not fulfill any of God's plans because you were crushed early on. <laughs> Guys, you are full of purpose. Here are some tips for being in ministry. Number one, ask God what is ministry. Number two, ask God what is the price for me to be in ministry. God's will is good and it is for your good. So anything that he plans for you, anything that he wills for you, trust him that it is for your good and that it is good. God's will is good. His intentions are good and they're pure and they're holy and they're so much better than our intentions. And his plans are so much more wise and adventurous and wild that it is good for us to wait on him and be patient. So guys, I'm gonna leave you with this. Think about whether you are doing, if you're in ministry, you're in church, or you're aspiring to function in a certain place in the church, whether it be worship leading, pastoring, Really think about his will versus your will, his agenda versus your agenda, and really think, what are my motives? Why am I doing what I am doing? Because guys, the world needs followers and people who are fully free of themselves. The world needs people full of character and who are free to be themselves and free to be holy. The world does not need a compromiser. The world needs a seeker of truth, a follower of Jesus. Guys, I love you. Jesus loves you. I hope this encourages you. I hope this brings clarity to you. I hope this brings wisdom to you and understanding about what God wants to do in your life versus what you want to do in your life. For those of you who feel like you're in a valley, let me bring you this hope that you are in a process of refinement, that God is purifying your character and your thoughts and your will and your emotions. He is bringing you through the valley so you can get to the mountaintop of His calling and destiny and purpose for your life. So don't give up and know that you are loved and God is working all things out for your good. Anyways, guys, I will see you later, okay? Oh, and by the way, guys, please like and subscribe for more, and we would love it if you guys would encourage others to watch these videos or spread these videos out, I'm here to make a difference in the world and so is my team. And so guys, 
spread the love, spread Jesus, spread these videos, and I'll be seeing you next time. Okay.